guys, it's JQ Crafty. I just wanted to let you know that I am not forgetting about 30 days of sketches. I will share them. Um, I only have up until day 20 right now. So um, let me show you the last few. And then I promise there'll be another video getting me caught up. But yeah, it's been very stress relieving not having to be caught up. Let me tell you. So that's all I'm going to say about that. All right. So day 16, which was the sketch. Um, I followed it pretty close. I just did, I there's white space on here and it 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 makes me happy. <laughs> um, but at the same time I'm like, ooh, that's a lot of white space. But what I did is I just took a stencil, one of the new Vicky Booten stencils. Uh, is it new? Or is it, I don't know if it's color study. It might be from uh the collection that was just before this. What was it? Something about journal or journeying, traveling. Hmm. I can't think right now. But that one. <laughs> it might be from those. Got them from um, Scrapping Reflections uh, web store. I'll have her linked down below. But I used um, me some Pink Paisley and Fifth and Monaco. Love that collection. For being such a girly collection, I do love it. So I just documented these two photos of my son and his cousin so happy to be in their house long story <laughs> but there is that one and then the, so that was day 16 because you saw 19 was on my product focus friday so that one we will be skipping so 16 and then day 17 i used what i had left still of bella boulevard so i'm still doing good still holding strong on doing um a different collection or something a day each day so that's it's going good. Um, so this one was Bella Boulevard left over from when I did Product Focus Friday in February for it. So I stuck pretty close to the sketch on this one as well. Might tweak some things, but this one seems very like there's not a lot going on and it's kind of weird to me, but I like it. It's simple. It's clean. I did Nouveau drops um, for my circle element and I smeared them like twice and tried to clear them up and then these are acrylic uh from redefine creative shop otherwise these are all just bella boulevard um papers and then just a, car a cardstock that was like the perfect green um but yeah so this is just documenting the cat's motherly love to our son when he was a baby and how she was like checking on him breathing like literally she slept there anyway like half on him you can see her paw anywho so that was day 17 and this one I really loved. Uh, this is day 18. So I, what's kind of fun about me being behind is I get to see what everybody else is doing <laughs> and then get inspiration and be like, okay, how did they do it? What do I want to do? I loved that there were so many people that did for the sun rays, they did mixed media. And so I kind of wanted to do that too. Um, so I did that. I took a stencil and um, I taped off to look like rays and then I took a stencil it's also a Vicky Booten one is it the same one no this was a flower one this is like a crisscrossing circles one but it doesn't even look like it because of how I ended up and I did some distress oxide through there I believe this was um squeezed lemonade and then I took <laughs> this was an oops um I took there's a bigger splotch underneath thank goodness I covered it up um and then I took my Dina Wakely um acrylic spray and they haven't been spraying because I'm really bad about like when I have sprayed them cleaning the nozzle off um and right now I can see that there's paint like cleared up but it sprayed and it went <clears throat> Uh, just a big old blob. I was like, oh crap. Um, so yeah, it did that. And then I got a little bit. So I wanted a few blobs and then I did some splatters, but it did this crazy mist. Um, so my whole background, um, got a little bit of, um, navy blue, but I, I liked the way it looked. And then I just layered up fun things from, um, never grow up. I have a lot of 12 by 12s left of it. I think it's because I love them so much. I can't decide which ones to use. So instead of using two different ones, this is actually the A and B side and I cut it in half and then flipped it and then, um, <laughs> taped it together. So yeah, ingenuity, right? But I don't actually have a lot of the ephemera left. I have some, but like odd, like to me, odd pieces, like not 
super obvious pieces. And um, so I trimmed something from the 6x8 pad. I stamped this Rest and Relax from LA Studio. I put one puffy foam thicker. I used up all my feathers except for one. I found a random feather. I cut this label in half. It was a sticker. And I just titled this out because my son literally passed out face down after breastfeeding just like and stayed there. I had to like move my arm. I'm like, he can breathe, right? So that's all this is documenting. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of, just like you can feel the texture a little bit. But yeah, so that was fun. And then 19 was Product Focus Friday. So you guys already saw that. And then this was 20. And so I didn't use a specific collection. This is literally scraps. I was um, finally putting some scraps away and some stuff that I had left out and kind of demolishing kits that I had previously used like I took apart like all the Bella Boulevard and kind of decided there wasn't much left after doing after doing this layout this was like the biggest piece um so I kind of took it apart and put it all in my scraps by color and I decided I want to do a monochromatic layout so I had these pictures picked out already I went ahead and picked out pictures for what I wanted to do for each sketch just because I have sets of pictures that I want to get done um so I signed them and um yeah, I decided why not do green? He's wearing green. It's another, I think I've done four layouts of him sucking on this bird in his jungle mat. I don't know. It's just nom nom nom, right? Um, so I found this. This is a Jen Hadfield paper in my stash. And I went ham sandwich with mixed media again. A similar theme, apparently. I <laughs> decided to take, ooh, I took like all the green shimmers I had. I took... Uh, four Leaf Clover, Forget Me Not. And then I have this Tattered Angels one that's super old. It's a glimmer mist called um, Kiwi, I believe. Yep, Kiwi. So it's a bright green. And I misted, I misted those. And then I did a little bit of blue. Um, and then I took this Pika Dot stencil from um, Scrapping Reflections. Hmm, what did I do? Oh, no. I did. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I did Kiwi Mist, and then I took the Pika Dot, and then I did some of this blue, which is Rockefeller Blues from um, Sh Shimmers. I did a couple splotches of those because I just wanted a little bit of blue to pop out. And then I laid the Pika Dot um, stencil on, and I did some Forget Me Not, and then I did some Four Leaf Clover through the stencil. So there's some um, a little bit of variation of what the colors are, and I just wanted enough so that there was something, but not like completely yeah and then these are just random green chipboard um from me and my big ideas all the sticker packs and I decided to do squares because I hadn't played with my square punch really much yet um instead of the hexagon so I did that and then I just this is this is actually like a melon sticker from this random sticker book I picked up at Joann's it was kind of a waste I shouldn't have it's kind of I might gift it <laughs> to my niece here use all these stickers this is not something I need. But yeah, this was really fun just to play with my stash and to do a mon monochromatic layout. I hadn't done one in a while. So I loved this. It turned out really good. Um, yeah, and I had fun trying to figure out variation of how I wanted the squares to go. But this worked out pretty well. So yeah, so this is up to day 20. So I still have to do, because today is what? The 24th. So I still have to do 21, 22, 23, 24... And then 25, I'll try and have those five done the next time I see you because then 26 will be Product Focus Friday. So that is the goal. All right. So I will have, and then plus 27. So technically I will have six layouts, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully for you. I did, it was nice to be able to do these and not worry about time or recording or anything like that. So that's going really well, really, really, really well. So I will have um, at least one of the sketches to show you on Friday for my Power to Focus Friday. And then I'm hoping to have a video either Saturday or Sunday that will show you um, the rest of them. And then we only have a couple days left. So we'll see if I can get my button gear and do videos for the last couple. Right? Right. So there you have it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Um, thank you, subscribers. I've had a few more trickle in lately. I'm at 600 as of right now. Yay! And my goal is 700. So that's awesome. Um, so subscribe if you haven't already. I really, really appreciate you. And thank you, all of you who have subscribed for liking, for watching, for commenting. Love it. I really appreciate you all. So you guys have a great day and we'll see you next time.